All right, guys, we've arrived, we've arrived at Bass Pro Shop. Matthew's got my bow. I'm gonna take it in here and try to get it fixed. Figured I'd show y'all what Bass Pro Shop's all about. There's one of my employees right there. I say employees, but I guess I should say co-workers. It's a company I work for currently. Know who that is. Yeah. But this is our Bass Pro Shop. It's in Clarksville, Indiana. Uh, we'll give you all a little tour of it while we're here. It's a pretty cool little place. Alright. I just have one of them chasing after you. I guess it's kind of hard to see how big it is compared to in here. Alrighty. Alrighty, so this is we're inside Bass Pro Shop now. They have a bunch of these little displays set up all over the store. Uh, kind of walk you around here. There's a customer service desk. Kind of walk you around here and show you what's going on here. We've got like a huge boat section over here where they sell a bunch of different boats four wheelers a bunch of different boats cool little tundras too and they got a bunch of boats here and a bunch of four wheelers over there there's our elevator going up and a bunch of boat supplies <laughs> We've got a little creek in the middle of the store here. We do have fish. You can see the bass float down in there. And a huge fishing selection. This is a We got a little waterfall going on in here. Got squirrels. We got a big, I don't remember how many gallons this is, but it's a huge, huge aquarium. Yeah. Got a bunch of striped bass, catfish, gar, bluegill. Uh, got all kinds of fish in it. Alright, we're gonna look. Little black bears. I was going to show you all in here, but they beat me in here, so they come up here every once in a while. Looks like they just did it not too long ago, but they do different demonstrations on different baits. They kind of fish out of here, so it's pretty cool. They've cut the hooks off, but you can see the fish. Looking through the glass, you can actually see the fish bite it, but they don't get hooked. If you're into hunting, my god, they got all kinds of hunting gear here. Folding up the yin yang. Yeah. That's the bear up there. He's gonna get that hunter, dude. But they've got they've got all kinds of clothing here. I mean, it's just everywhere. And you've got airplanes flying. Right. 
We've got tree stands out the yin yang all over the place. Deer up in there too. All kinds of stuff. If you need binoculars, I got them. Do you want to spend 2100 bucks for one? $2,300 or $2,400? Or $800. So, more than $2,800. We just got all kinds of binoculars. This is their bow section. They have all kinds of bows. And there's a retard there that I work for work for, work with. I think he's cool, I think he knows everything, but he really doesn't. Alright, let's give y'all some ranges. $7.99, $5.99. These are diamonds. They have all kinds of stuff. Uh, just all kinds of stuff here. With all your releases that I was telling you about. Tons of other bows. Alright, here's all their PSE bows. This is a brand that I've got. Just a bare bow madness as well. This is an extra small, but they run $6.99 with nothing on them. Sights galore. Just everything you need. We got people here working that actually fixes them. So you got your own little pro bow shop here. Alright, he's working on my bow. I'm getting it fixed up for me. We're just replacing that little plastic piece is all we're doing. Alright, we're all up and going again. He replaced this piece for me. So it's got all this, holding all these things together for me. So, we're going to go and try to shoot that tournament tonight, but I just want to show you all some crossbows. This is... Sorry, David was talking to his wife. She, he's a. Well, I'm not even gonna get into it. But this is the crossbow that I want. It is a Barnett Ghost uh, 400. It's a badass crossbow right there. But they've got mostly Hortons what they sell here, as far as crossbows. They got a bunch of them. You build your own arrows. Um, buy your arrows. You're gonna be surprised on how much these things cost, but for a dozen arrows, you can spend 75 bucks on. You can spend 94 dollars. Uh, two, four. That's for half a dozen. That's six arrows. So they could get pretty expensive. There's some in here that are over 100 bucks. There's some that are 100 bucks. So. Archery could get pretty expensive. They've got these little games here that you can play. You shoot these little targets. You can probably get zoomed in on one. And they do, once you hit that little disc that's the flashing lights, and it causes them little animals to do different little things. But they've got, we'll walk you around here and show you some of them. This is a guy that can never do anything without that damn phone. So if you yeah. see him, he's always going to have that phone and he's me, always so going to talk be talking anymore. like he knows some, he's some kind of HVAC expert or something. But right now, I guarantee you he's talking to his brother. And he's either between his brother or his wife. I didn't embarrass the hell out of him. But he is not an HVAC expert. See, there he goes again. This is the everyday life of David Armstead. Alright, so if you see him walking around anywhere, I actually do me this. Do me this favor. If you see him anywhere and he doesn't have that phone up against his ear, take a picture because I want to see it. Alright, they sell long bows. This one here, is what we're trying to figure out. We don't know anything about long bows. We just know without anything it's four hundred bucks. Uh, just for a piece of wood, so I got recurves. They've got all the gear for shooting all the longbows. 
all kinds of stuff, man. Them look like Freddy Krueger fingers. Freddy Krueger. Now, if you're in, if you're into the sort of thing of guns, they got guns and more guns and more guns. We first came in here, they had some like twelve thousand dollar shotguns. Now they got some pistols. I'm not into guns, so I can't even tell you anything about them. But I know they got a bunch of them. They got a whole. Oh, we just walked down it real quick. Scopes. Well, every kind of scope you want, I guess. We got more pistols. All right, there's a $5,000. They're all handmade and uh, we got all kinds of guns here. So if we ever get attacked by zombies, run to Bass Pro Shop. You're never gonna get, or you're never gonna run out of weapons. Saw these little gun cases here, and I thought of Fritz. He's got something like this that he keeps all his vacuum stuff in. His is a little bit bigger, I think. But they got them here. So there you go, Fritz. We got some bigger ones here too. Got all kinds of gun cases here. We got some knives. If you're into the knife thing. Not a whole lot of knives, but they got a few knives here. If you ever get out here to Bass Pro Shop, come over here and check out these NASCAR things. These things are pretty fun to drive in. It's like a 3D car is going to move around and turns with you. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Right, we got some racing going on here, guys. We got some racing going on. Alright, they have a golf range inside here also. Uh, they do sell golf clubs here. Uh, so if you're into golf, come here and hit some balls. I also have a full line of cooking stuff. So if you're into smoking, making jerkies, they got dehydrators, uh, meat grinders. Uh, there's a good dehydrator there, something like what I've got there. Uh, deep fryers. Dang guys, these stores are just smokers. They just got everything here. Shot a video of my green egg, you're all gonna see it. They don't sell the green egg, but they sell something. It's like a copycat of it. $549, so it's not bad. Green egg's gonna cost you about $700. Uh, but they got like the copycats of them. They're a ceramic grill. Alright. As far as camping goes, they've got tents. Yeah, pretty good selection of tents here for real. They got some canoes, kayaks. Uh, all kinds of stuff. No tent, they got they're set up for backpacking, so if you're into backpacking. Little cots. Of course, you got your boots. Uh, got backpacks from about 90 bucks up to a couple, two, three hundred bucks. Walking sticks. All right, if anybody knows me, you know I like my flashlights. They've got some pretty good flashlights here too. Over here. I'm going to give you a kind of a thorough uh, walk around of this store. If you're in the Kentucky, Louisville area, you ought to come check this place out. Especially if you've got kids. Kids love this place. It just goes to show that they've got more than just hunting clothes too. They've got a wide range of just like outdoorsy type clothing. Uh, 
I personally like these clothes. I've bought a lot of them here. Uh, but yeah, come ahead and check out their clothes. Man. They got some pretty cool clothes. Even some Under Armour stuff. fly fishing shop. I like to do an occasional fly fishing myself. Uh, so I'll come in here and get all geared up. Go hit the streams. They've got a bunch of different fly fishing poles. Uh, I've got one of them little pontoons. I've got one of them that I take out to the small, well, medium sized lakes. I just go out there and float in them and do a little fly fishing or regular bass fishing. I don't, I don't care. wide assortment of flies. I'll show you what them if they're trout fish what they bite. People always get surprised on how I don't even know how to even focus. Uh, I get that focus guy. But just little video hooks. They catch fish though. Just little video things. You have to imitate the live insects that are landing on the water. That's what the trout and that's what the trout is gonna be eating now. Alright guys, we had to leave Bass Pro Shop. I ran out of memory on my camera, so I couldn't record no more video. Uh, but we're heading home. Uh, we're gonna chill for a little bit. There's a Louisville skyline. Uh, we're gonna chill a little bit and where where we was at earlier, they actually have a tournament tonight. Uh, I think me and Manta are going to go shoot in that. This gives us something to do anyways. So we're going to go home and chill and about 7.30 we're going to go shoot this tournament. And I'll get some video footage of that. I'll make a different video on that. It'll be pretty fun. Alright man. Well, thanks for watching.